question for you. How often do you use your turn signal? A man who was recently pulled over for not using his reached out to us for this week's Speaker's Corner Report. He says he did nothing wrong. And based on a little known loophole in the law, he may be right. It's one click some of us always use. How often do you use your turn signal? Um, well, all the time for me. <laughs> <laughs> and others, well, once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't use it all the time? No, no, not really. And like the viewer who reached out to us, Onder Caban was also pulled over for it. Got fines for that. <laughs> <laughs> You've been fined for that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. For not using your signal? Yes. They're required to use their signal in order to give advance warning to, uh, to other drivers on the roadway, section 142, subsection 1 of the Highway Traffic Act. But Ryan Swam, a paralegal, primarily focused on defending Highway Traffic Act matters, says if you read the Highway Traffic Act closely, there's a caveat. Yeah, there sure is, Pat. You legally are not required to use your blinker every single time. Let's say you're turning like the viewer who reached out to us and no other vehicles are on the road or impacted by your turn. If there's no other drivers or vehicles in the area, how can you give a signal to somebody who's not even there? The law states you must signal only if another vehicle may be affected. Maybe is the term which, uh, which is where the confusion arises. The law is kind of silent as to what is a vehicle within the area? What is, what is in the vicinity of your vehicle? How close does it have to be? And, uh, and unfortunately, there isn't a, a, a specific or, or defined or prescribed distance as to what defines a vehicle in the area. This has been tested in court. One case in particular did not end well for the driver. After all, someone was nearby when the driver failed to signal the officer who pulled him over. A police officer in trial referencing that, you know, well, you know, I was in the area or, or there were other vehicles in the area. That may be sufficient to establish a conviction. Swam says you should always explore your legal options if pulled over, but best advice to avoid it altogether? Just use the signal. It should be second habit in nature uh, and it's important. Have a story or question you want us to explore? Hit us up by visiting the Speaker's Corner tab on the City News website. Pat Taney, City News.